Hey there pranksters, let me tell you about the time that I built a cheap $200 gaming setup. I did buy everything from Walmart and you're about to see how I put it all together. But first, let me announce the giveaway for this video. If this video gets 200 likes, in my next video I will give away a box of RGB light strips like these ones to someone from the comments. To participate, just like and comment on this video. Alright then, let's get started to building this budget Walmart setup. The idea here is to create a gaming station from scratch on a $200 budget, not counting taxes, and all items needed to be purchased at Walmart. So off to Walmart I went, and yes guys, you can build a gaming station using nothing but Walmart bought items. So here goes. Gadgets aside, the two big components to creating an awesome gaming station are a desk and a chair. So the cheapest desk available there was this Parsons desk going for exactly $59 and I knew that would take a big chunk from the budget. As for the chair, I went with this $25.88 desk chair. In the same aisle, I also found this small plastic office trash bin going for $2.48. Next, I headed to the electronics section where pretty much the rest of our items would be bought. For lighting, I was surprised to find these 6 foot RGB light strips. They were $5.84 each, so I bought 3 of them. To complement that lighting, I wanted to give this multicolored light bar a chance. These were going for $9.88. A couple feet from that light bar was this LED color box marquee going for $14.88. I knew that I could get creative with this so of course I had to put it in my cart. For sound I opted to get some speakers instead of a headset and these were on clearance marked down to $14.35 from almost $20. These light up bluetooth speakers will definitely add some value to my gaming desk. For $6.88 I got this top grip tripod, it's essential if you plan on streaming from your phone. For decor, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to get one of these classic arcade games. Both Tetris and Pac-Man were available, but I went with the Mortal Kombat collectible which was going for $19.87. It was still within budget, so why not, right? Although I'm not a huge fan of Minecraft, I knew that this $12.97 plush toy would look good on any gaming station. And last but not least, I'll have some Rick and Morty decor. For $4.98, I bought this Rick and Morty poster. To keep things more organized, for $8.98 I also bought a frame for the poster. Again guys, not counting taxes, altogether I bought all these items for $197.67, just as the original plan was. I kept it under $200. Alright pranksters, it's finally time to show you how this gaming station was put together and as always I start with the bigger items first. Luckily I knew that this was a Walmart desk so it would not be hard to put together. I tore up the box and there were only 5 major pieces, 4 legs and the tabletop which was pretty much already put together. My only job here was to screw on the legs and I did that with my new cordless 20 volt Kimo drill. So with the help of this drill I was able to put together the desk with ease and I even fixed the faulty drawer that came with this desk. Moving on to the chair I can honestly say that I was able to put it together in under 2 minutes. Reason being is that I've built so many chairs recently, it's pretty small and it lacks the cushion and padding the more high end chairs have, but for the cheap price that I got it for, I won't complain. Now that the two largest components for this gaming station have been built, we can now move on to the gadgets. The first thing going up on this desk is this Asai 21.5 1080p Full HD LED monitor. This monitor suits our budget gaming setup very well for its low price, but it does come with some impressive specs. As you can see it does come in black, which ideally that's always better for lighting and viewing purposes. For $110 you can get your own Asai 21.5 1080p monitor at Amazon. I resorted to my Xbox One S and this white machine looks incredible on any desk, so I'll leave it next to the Asai monitor. With our hardware in place, let's work on our lighting gadgets that will make our gaming setup pop and on the back of the monitor I placed one strip of RGB lights, it went around just perfect. I also attached another strip of RGB lights on the back edge of the desk and you'll see it in full effect once every 
everything is put together. Here's a multicolored light bar and it already felt really lightweight before I even opened it. For the 10 bucks that I paid for it, I wasn't expecting anything too fancy but this will do. Having the remote control does help, this light bar went on the right of the monitor and actually I was really content with its lighting capabilities. Before opening this LED marquee color box, I already had a feeling that it would be another low end light box and although I wasn't wrong, for the price that I paid for it, I couldn't have asked for more. It was just exactly what I needed and although I would have preferred that they included more letters, I was only limited to two per letter. But not to worry, I still made it work. For my convenience, this box also came with a remote control. On this marquee, I could say anything that I want, but this right here is the most appropriate thing that I could place on there. Gaming is life. It really is pranksters. Since this was lightweight, I hung it up on the wall using push pins. Look how awesome that looks. I just love the color that this delivers. Now let's unbox this really cool looking black and green speaker and I was quite curious as to why it was on clearance for $5 less than its original price. Honestly guys when I pulled it out of the box, I was very impressed by the feel of it. I could tell that it wasn't a pushover speaker. It was powered through USB as well and it was small enough to fit pretty much anywhere. It wasn't the loudest of speakers but it definitely did more than what I expected it to do. I just love the shark image on the front. It lights up green and it goes off by the rhythm of the music that you're playing. I highly recommend this speaker if you can get your hands on one of these. When it comes to the Mortal Kombat arcade game, I had a tough choice deciding whether to keep it in the box or not. Originally I thought about keeping it as a collectible but I opted against it once I started playing the actual game. It brought back so many memories and it's very easy to get hooked on this little red machine. Mortal Kombat is a classic and there was no way that I would just keep it around collecting dust, when I could easily just be playing and having fun with it while I download other games on my Xbox. It is sure to keep me entertained, so it took its rightful place on my new desk. Close to that I positioned this top grip tripod. It was very easy to mount a phone on it and its legs spanned apart so it will remain still on any flat surface. Out of all these items, I really thought that this Minecraft plush toy was overpriced especially since this was a budget setup but nonetheless I'm still happy with it and this plush toy will stay on top of this Xbox One S. When pulling out the drawer of this desk, I noticed that it was just the right size for me to put my MacBook inside, so I would only be taking it out when I needed to use it. The Rick and Morty poster was pretty basic, but it was just what I needed for extra decor on that plain wall. The frame did a really great job at making the poster look even better on the wall, and yeah guys, I did hang this up on a wall with a thumbtack since overall it was very lightweight. I wasn't too sure what to do with that third roll of RGB lights, but then I remembered that I had bought that plastic trash bin, so I chose to wrap the light strip around it so it would not go to waste. All that was left now is to wire up everything that was needed to be plugged in and there you guys have it, a super economical basic console gaming station built from Walmart items with a max budget of $200. As you just saw it's very doable to create a gaming setup using nothing but Walmart items. If you guys want more gaming setup ideas, please check out my channel and consider subscribing. Thanks for stopping by pranksters, I'll see you guys in my next video.